This is Open Studio, a podcast where I invite artists that I know and admire to come and talk with me about all things creative. My guest today is Petra Budkic. She's a friend, local tattoo artist, illustrator, and all-around creative person. Please go and check out her amazing work. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, if you want early access to new episodes of this podcast, exclusive bonus episodes, announcements about upcoming guests, and all kinds of other behind the scenes content, please go and check out my Patreon page as well. It's a really great way to stay connected with everything that I'm doing, and a subscription even in the smallest amount makes a huge difference to me and helps me keep doing what I'm doing and sharing it with all of you. So with that, let's get into the episode. It's like for, I mean, rent and everything, it's fine. It's like, <laughs> they, yeah, I'm, I know. It's like just enough most months to like pay my rent and like buy food and everything. Okay. But yeah, I don't have like extra money to spend okay. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some months are better than others. And for the equipment. Yeah, <laughs> paint is not cheap. I know. Yeah, crazy, and like right? canvases and everything. It's, yeah. So like most of my money goes back into like just buying supplies. Okay. And then like the issue that I'm having now is that like these, some of these paintings are not selling, like ones that I'm doing just for myself. So it's mostly commissions that I'm getting the money from. Okay. But then it's like I have shows to do with Fruit Juice Collective exactly. as well. So it's like sometimes I, like I'm spending a lot of time working on paintings that don't sell. So I'm like, you know, it's two weeks of the month that I'm not making any money. So it's, yeah, it's been tough to balance it for sure. Yeah. But do you think it's just like some waves of the things? Because usually it's like this is the same with tattooing. You know? Yeah, I think it is. Uh -huh. Like sometimes, like there's months at the beginning of this year, I was making like a lot of money actually. It was good. Exactly. And then now it's like a little slump and then it'll come back up come as back. well. Yeah. And now like I, I'm really trying to do with like the podcast, I have a Patreon as well. So it's like where people can like, you know, pay a little yeah, bit every okay. month it's to amazing. get like special content and stuff. Know. Yeah. But it's tough. How is it with tattooing? So it's the same. It's like, I would say, depends on like, we depend on people, you know? So it's mm. like, depends on either if it's just the, the ones that are like walking in, if it's a busy week or our own clients and not saying like, they have to cancel for so many reasons. So sometimes it's just like, you know, yeah. or if you want to take a vacation, you know that you're not going to be earning that month. It's yeah. not a paid off one. So. Exactly. Yeah. That's the tough part too. Like anytime you exactly. take off. You're not getting paid no. for it. So, yeah. Which I never look at it because, like, I'm like, not, not that I live in a moment. Of course, yeah, like, I plan it. I say, okay, I'll just, like, I don't know, uh, spend less a uh, month before or after. But then you just, you know, you go with the flow. Like, I don't know, when I go back home to Croatia. Yeah. All I want to do is they're like, not think about it. And I want to, like, you know, just spend time <laughs> go with family. Go yourself. But then when you come back, it's like, oh, yeah, I didn't have an income, actually. I mean, mm -hmm. I can choose to work places but sometimes it's just like you know I don't know. yeah i need a break yeah and also for me like i i know some of like my parents especially were like hey why don't you get like a part-time job or something but the problem is i'm putting so much of my time already into this and i felt like even if i lowered it like 10 or 20 percent i wouldn't have the same like momentum that i have right no. now so you kind of have to like dedicate yourself to it at least for me like the way that i'm trying to do it I think um it's which amazing. is tough like even if it's tough but Maybe wait a bit because I'm sure you'll find some like connections maybe or I don't know, like, you know, or just like it will just come or how we say the waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same with tattooing and painting because like the only time I had time to paint mm -hmm. last time, like properly, was the COVID. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I, I don't know, let's say two months, I was just like, you know, like you were home and you were like expecting when we're going to open when we're going to open mm -hmm. but like even now when like you work like a full-time tour, mm -hmm. you're there like which i love to be there and like sometimes we do paint in the shop but when you're like actually like working those those like hours then you come home and you're like oh. <laughs> exactly you don't have the energy for the it energy anymore. or maybe even yeah. inspiration if you're working on like custom designs yeah Maybe like when you said that you're doing commissions, yeah. which custom designs into doing are kind exactly. of the same yeah, thing. Very similar, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can draw up something in the morning or an evening before and then like, oh, but wait, like where is my inspiration for like drawing for myself now? I don't know. It's like... Yeah. You use it all up. Which is okay. I yeah. still enjoy and I get inspired because of, I don't know, even these things inspire me and then I like paint something similar to the design that I did. But you really need to have time and like, how to say, just, I don't know. Like being the, 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 maybe like day off or, but with other, other obligations to do. Yeah. No, so it's like, I get it. It's like you either, either you will do this or 
you will do it like less often if you have yeah. a part-time job. Well, exactly. And that's what I did for years. Like I just painted on the side and then I worked full time. When we met, you were working, I forgot what, but like you were. I was working for a museum. I was doing okay. like video production and stuff for them. Um, but it was like very stressful. And I think even when I was, when you tattooed me, I really hated it. Like I was not very happy. I remember um, you were like. Mm. Yeah. And then it just got worse after that. Okay. So yeah, it just was miserable. And like, I think it was also really hard for me to actually put energy into painting, which was always what I really wanted to do you know so mm -hmm. yeah anyway then you're like postponing, postponing yeah yeah need to cut it in. yeah exactly and i'm glad i made the decision you know it's like exactly yeah, it's exactly part of the process yeah how much like how much custom work are you doing versus like uh like flash or like people coming in and just picking something i would say it's maybe uh, 60 percent of custom and 40 okay. of flash yeah. but it really depends like sometimes there is just like people who as i said like walk-ins they also just pick up a flash or mm -hmm. clients are like, hey, I'll check your flash book. But really depends. It's just that I would say with some clients that are always coming back, m most likely we already started some projects. So it's like yeah. going this direction and it could be a flash, but it's maybe a little bit of a already like maybe something like this and maybe we can drop something like this. And it's great. Sometimes you just freehand on the spot and it's like yeah. amazing. But yeah. I don't complain. It's great. I like I like both because, mm -hmm. as I said, sometimes like uh, when they tell me a custom motive, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh wow, I never thought about it. And then you like really drop something you never did, but it's awesome and it opens you the door to like new similar flashes or something. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Fifty fifty. 60, 40, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So somewhere in between, yeah. Yeah, exactly. it's cool sometimes to get, like, ideas from other people. Like, even when people ask me for custom paintings, like, right. sometimes it's a concept I never would have thought about. Right. And it's super fun. Like, it lets me explore an idea I wouldn't have ever. Ask you, like, where do you get your inspiration from? And I'm like, oh, I, I, where I to hate start that from? <laughs> I'm so happy. I was thinking, like, are you going to ask me this question? Oh, my God, no, no. <laughs> Uh, I don't know from everywhere <laughs> a song even you know it's like so yes like, absolutely they like no I I would I don't think I would call myself an artist if I asked you that question I'm sorry. I no, but I know. <laughs> and what I'm gonna answer yeah 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 <laughs> but it's true it's so hard to pin it down and say like I'm inspired by this one thing like yeah. it comes from yeah. everywhere all the time and I for me as well it's it. it's like I think about it less now in terms of inspiration and more in terms of like just doing the work and like exactly. always being creative and like making stuff. And then the ideas just come because your mind is open that to also. it, right? And then, yeah. yeah. And maybe like sometimes, like, I don't know, does it happen to you? But like you're stuck at the painting or even if I'm tattooing someone and it's like a quiet session and long one and your brain is like, mm. yeah, why never? Oh, I should do this or like yeah, paint some. I don't know. It's just like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you take like different paths, paths in your mind. Yeah, yeah. I just write it down, but then I. Most likely I don't have a time soon to paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it depends. But yeah, it's... Yeah. But you said music inspires you as well. Also, I can yeah. give me some song, like, or some lyric, like, that it would stay in my head, or you can be describing a situation, the song, and like, ah, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to paint something referring to this, maybe, or I don't know. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. More, mm -hmm. mo mo like, more in the, when I was, like, Maybe in the beginning of the doing, because I had more time to paint mm -hmm. uh, than now. Now it's already like, I don't know. But yeah, it's still like music inspires a lot. And yeah. it's important also like to listen to when you're painting or when I'm tattooing. I don't know. It's like I mean, at least otherwise, just silence. I, sometimes I think about that. I do it weirdly because I, yeah. like I need silence. You, yeah. Okay. Like there's times when I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm always with headphones in or something playing right. and I need to just have some silence. But right. like, yeah, it's not all the time for sure. But it's funny. Like sometimes I think about, you know, like artists, you know, a hundred years ago when there was no stereos or anything and they were just sitting in silence right. like the whole time. And also, like, you know, and, we're talking about this inspiration. They were also doing commissions of like, royal portraits in the end they were not having necessarily yeah they did like some other things i guess mm -hmm. but like they were mostly like you know commissions paint up the king his son yeah exactly yeah <laughs> but it must have been so much harder back then like i feel like now something that i'm like i feel very strongly about and i think it's really exciting is that like with social media it's possible if you're an artist or a creative person to like do it yourself exactly. and you don't really need to rely on galleries or any of these like big institutions anymore exactly. whereas like i think back then like let's say in the 1920s or something if you're a painter or an illustrator you're either like 
really well known in the galleries like you or you're never going to be able to do it as your full-time right? job like it's i think it's such a freedom mm -hmm. he's with everything even like a tattooers like to build up a yeah. portfolio there you know like mm -hmm. actually when i started and i'm still like not like super old generation i'm tattooing i would say 10 years now but i also had my portfolio in like a book i would just print out the color really <laughs> but wow. maybe because i didn't buy any tablet or so just oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah but it was like i'm talking about 2012 and i didn't even have money i was like just i quit the college to start tattooing mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it was like yeah yeah but already there was existing instagram so it was easier yeah how important is that to you now like the instagram is that like where you're getting a lot of your business i do but like i don't i'm still like maybe a little bit too lazy about it <laughs> You know, I never did a real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, you should do this more now because this brings you this. Or so I'm like a little bit lazy to check how much views I got. Sure. Something like I'm not following these things so much. Yeah, yeah. I just like I post it. It's like I it's post it so people see it. So I don't know. Maybe well, I should. I don't know. That's maybe a good thing, honestly, because I think, I think it's, it's like too much work. Yeah. And also, like, if you get too lost in it, then you're, like, just worrying about, like, how many no. likes I got or all of this. And that's really not helpful at all. Like, I think it actually can hurt you a lot. I think so. So it's too. almost better, like, you're doing it. Like, just post something because you finished a tattoo or you have a photo Even you want to share. Little that's... extras to, like, do to add to make just maybe, I don't know how to say, not even about the likes or whatever, but just, like, to get more people to see it. Of yeah. course I do, but, like. Yeah, yeah. Not that I would exactly how you said overthink. Actually, I do not have notifications of Instagram on on my me, phone. Me so yeah. What I, when I see a message is when I open it. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I don't want to open it because mm -hmm. I just it's like overwhelming. Like you know, <laughs> hey, hi, you, and then like ten. Oh, oh no, I have to reply. Oh, so I know. Conversations waiting in one evening. I know. I feel the same way. It's like uh, kind of exhausting. <laughs> and yeah. not in a bad way, but like no, when you spend no. the whole day with people, and I I uh, work with my best friends basically, then you have other friends on the side, and I don't know. I like to spend an evening alone sometimes, just like without this, and yeah. it's just like, oh, no. just gonna post and check everything in the morning or i don't know yeah it's an obligation i would say it's Definitely. a great thing that it happens to us but yeah. i don't want to cross the border of like having it as like this you know yeah like something you're doing all the time like oh, constantly no. looking at your phone i couldn't live like that like it's, no, exactly. yeah, I think it's terrible but yeah i think you're right it is like it's very useful. It's a great tool and it probably helps you as a tattoo artist. It definitely helps I'm me so as a painter. And for the yeah. communication in the end, like really. Yeah, absolutely. You know. But in a way for me, it also like it makes like real life experiences even better. Like when I connect with people about art in real life, I'm like, oh, this is what right. I like. This Which, is what I want. Exactly. Because when you're just like messaging with it's, you know, it's great. It's nice. I'm like very grateful for that as well. But it's not as like meaningful as like no, really talking no. to somebody about. Exactly. You know, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Even when I go to people's pages, it's just like, oh, OK, this is a portfolio of their whatever. Mm -hmm. Even life. In the end, but yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I, mean? it can I must say. But yeah. Some yeah. of them. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's true. It's better than the end in real life. But it's definitely um, it's amazing and it's easy tool. I would say it's not like mm -hmm. something crazy. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Let's yeah. see what happens in the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's going? So. So you said you've never made any reels or anything like videos. No. Yeah. I think I want to, but like yeah. I have a feeling again. Oh my god, it's so much work. Now I have to make a video of this. Maybe a video when I'm painting, and then a video of this. Because I think I want to make something like where I'm painting, mm -hmm. creating a flash, and maybe just like how it, how it's like, how it's like going to be like you know like finish how it's like ending up and everything. But then like, oh my god, I need to like how to start. Which music did you use? Like, yeah. Maybe I'm overthinking too much. I should just do it, but yeah. Uh, it is complicated. <laughs> like there's a lot of steps, but I also think like really? once you start okay. and you figure out how to do one. I'm going to be addicted. Yeah. <laughs> not even that. You'll just be like, oh, actually like this isn't that hard. Like no, I, I can sure. definitely do it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's just like kind of starting like anything, you know, you just have to start. Exactly. And also the nice thing is that you work with a bunch of people who can like, you know, they can film you. This they can like take shots of you. Like stuff. Ivan or Katya and they're like amazing, this amazing, making already amazing videos and they're like putting it on a page. It's great. Like, so thanks to them. Yeah. Thanks guys. Yeah. <laughs> but like really, yeah. Otherwise, um, yeah, I think I just have to start.
Did yeah. you make some reels? Yeah, okay. I've started making a lot. Of no, that's reels. amazing. Yeah. Super. Okay. Yeah. It was something that I like really didn't want to do for a long time because I was like, I want the paintings to speak for themselves. And like, it felt kind of like too markety in a way. But it's fun to it's, watch. Yeah. And also it's eye catching. So. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I think there's a way to do it where it's not just like trying to like be trendy or do one of these like silly trendy videos. Like you can do it in a way where it's still like, uh, your own idea and it's right. creative and you get to tell a story or do something that you wouldn't get to share somewhere else. Um, so I'm, that's the way that I've been doing it, but it has helped me a lot, honestly. Like it's like getting a lot more engagement than like photo posts and stuff, which is like, I mean, you know, it, I don't know how much it matters, but like, you know, but I think it's just like that people go for it. I guess it's like, Oh, fun. What's going to happen in this one? And it's like maybe short yes. like motion of the photos or whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 But yeah, it's also, it is like uh, just an extra thing to have to worry about. And like, I think now there's like a lot of pressure, it seems like for like, creative people to be making those as well. Like everyone I talk to is like, oh, fuck, like I should be making reels. Like I, you know, and it's, <laughs> it kind of sucks. Like it's, it takes away from follow it or I don't know. It's like with all the, yeah, I don't know. I think we're also this generation that was like, like we've been through you know, all these old windows, floppy disk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. USB. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So we've been through it all, I would say. So it's just another thing we have to. Yeah. But it's okay. Just the real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a, at the end of the day, it's exactly. not that big of a deal, right? It's it can like be something artistic for us. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. And but I've... when you're busy with things, then it's yeah. just like, well. No, I know. It is an extra thing to do. Right. And I feel like it would be super fun if you guys in the shop were doing like, you know, just little videos of you. Like, because every time Which I go in there, it's all you guys are hanging out, like joking, having so oh, much fun. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's, <laughs> people like seeing that too, you know, like little things. No, but like it's that. really how it is. It's like, I'm yeah. just um, like, actually today was my day off, but I was in the shop. I had like one small appointment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then it's just. It's like, it's like your second home, you know, and you should mm -hmm. feel like I'm just super grateful. So, yeah, it's amazing. That's so yeah. nice. Yeah. I'm so happy you feel like this as well there when you come. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just... Everyone there is so nice. It's so cool. Like, yeah, you guys are the best. It's uh, <laughs> it's something I feel like I miss with the painting because, like, I'm just here by myself all day. Okay. Which I love. I like being by myself. But I feel like when you're working in a tattoo shop, like, it's very social, right? I like. Know. Even if you're not in a shop, like you have clients who are coming in and you get to talk to them while you're making something. And I feel like that's such a cool experience. Like it adds something to it. It's definitely amazing because exactly how you said, I, I love spending time alone. But like this is just this like extra dose I need. But as well like that, I wouldn't probably be like working alone. I prefer to work with people. But then end of the day or beginning of the day, I'm I'm great, happy to be alone at home yeah. or yeah. painting or whatever. But like... Um, Workways, it's also the experience because experience, you're like, you, you catch a bit from everybody. You share about machines, about needles, about ink. Like, you're just like, it's different. Like, you're progressing more because you're picking up from everybody. And yeah, yeah it's, it's like inspiring and I you bet. get to share. You can help each other if something happens. Like, oh, my God, can you fix this? Or how do you do this? Do you have an advice? Or... It's, it's better. I like it more. That's so nice. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like combining it's all your resources together. Exactly. You all get to grow together as well, which it's is so, like true. so nice. Yeah. Because you will pick, I think I have a feeling like we all would pick up from each other a bit or like sure. it's, it's great. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Does that ever happen where like you're, because I know one time, like when I got my chest tattoo, mm -hmm. like the guy who was doing it at one point, he like, he was like, Hey, give me a second. And he went and got another guy who was working there to come and look at it and like get advice about like yeah. how to shade something or what color that, to add or something is that something that happens at exactly yeah. it's like sometimes you just really need advice and like i i would say like we all do it with each other mm -hmm. I personally at the moment most do it with michelle because we are in the same room yeah 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 um it's like bunch and i love to walk and just check <laughs> what, what each of them is doing like, oh, yeah. wow. oh wow or like yeah <clears throat> it's amazing because you really just want someone or maybe like you're doing some motive that usually you're like your colleague is doing like one of the guys are i don't know usually doing and now i am doing it and i'm like how you usually shade i don't know your skull or whatever yeah i didn't do it so often so can you it's amazing yeah oh that's so cool it's super that. cool yeah, yeah, yeah i love it too yeah <clears throat> but maybe would you ever like paint with someone in atelier or it's better to do it alone i have in the past actually okay um, it's kind of fun like it's a cool experience to be with someone else in your painting um 
Yeah, it's not something I'm opposed to. Like, I like that as well. But for mm-hmm. me, like, painting is a very solitary activity in a lot of same. ways. I mean, I'm the same. Usually yeah. I prefer to do it at home or even in the shop when it's, like, more quiet. Yeah. Not when there's, like, a bunch of people. Then it's just like, whoa, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, overwhelming right. sometimes to have other people around. Yeah. Or, like, when they're watching. Yeah, watching you. Peter, you don't oh like gosh. when we watch. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, but yeah, I have done it in the past and I would definitely do it again. I think like right now it's the, like for me, painting is also my escape mm-hmm. in a lot of ways. Like that's one of the reasons I started painting was because it was like a place I could go to like be by myself and feel comfortable. Right. I didn't have to listen to anybody. Like I could kind of shut out the world and just be by myself. And like, it's still that mm-hmm. for me. And I like, I'm the kind of person who really needs that. Like, I need a lot of alone time. To I'm the feel same. Good. I understand you. It's, yeah. it's important. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I think that, like, I would lose a little bit of that if I was working in a studio with other people. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. To me, it's like just different. Like, tattooing is one thing, but then painting is another. Mm-hmm. And of course, it's also important important like i would say we definitely do ask each other as well when we're painting in the shop like how do you shade this or which brush you like the most yeah but then still i like to do me personally like most of my stuff at home because like yeah i don't know just leave the painting on a kitchen table and come to it a bit in the morning come to it a bit in the evening like Mm -hmm. your own yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah, quarantine was nice time. Everybody was like, are you okay? You're just home. And like, and I'm like, I never had this. Goodbye for two months. <laughs> I never had it. Like, I never had like two months that I don't have to meet anybody. It was so or nice. Yeah. Never. I mean, never. Maybe when I was really young. Or yeah, know, but I, yeah, yeah. No, it was very nice for me as well. And there was always an excuse, you know? It's like, if you didn't want to socialize, like... I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, or like, oh, I was with someone who had COVID. I can't come. But like, sometimes not. It's, yeah, it was very nice. But actually, it helped me this time. Because um, like, I, f- I don't even want to say I don't want it to happen again. But like, it really... I needed it because I had a burnout, I think, a bit before yeah. from too much being everywhere, too much working, which... Um, I didn't just schedule well, so it's okay to work a lot, but I was just all around the place and like trying to travel, whatever to work, but, and then it just like happens and like, now you stop. And I was like, wow. So I'm just going to use it for painting. I didn't have time for ages. And yeah, it was like, I needed this because it's also, it was a bit of a study for future tattooing. I would yeah, say. absolutely. What were the paintings you were working on? Like mostly like designs for tattoos or were you doing and other kinds of, of paintings? Like, yeah, I would say they were designs for tattoos, but like technically wise, I was trying to play a bit more with watercolors or some thin sure. lines or there. I was actually doing some big things like, because at some point you couldn't buy like supplies art supplies even the yeah. posts were like very messy yeah i also yeah. didn't have much money so i was just like taking whatever kind of old cartoon papers i had at home and mm-hmm. i was like i'm just gonna paint on this today i'm just gonna just like big things and i don't know so yeah it was a bunch of tattoo designs but like i don't know not necessarily that like it has to be tattooed sure yeah but it's still kind of in the style of tattoos style, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah i think it's just how my brain works I don't know. Well, yeah. But this is like, um, yeah, maybe I should go a bit out of the comfort zone. I mean, if you want to. I, I want think... to do a pottery, actually. Pottery. Oh, that would be awesome. I want to, so yeah. just trying to find some slower time to maybe yeah. go for some... Yeah. Some ceramics. Oh, I would be so much fun. I've heard it's very like therapeutic to do it. Just, just yeah. to go one like foot away from only this. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, still yeah. I can just like paint them, whatever. The way yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I would be very yeah. curious to see like you doing some paintings that aren't tattoo related. Exactly. Just to see like where your mind would go into a different area I and know. you might come up with some ideas for tattoos or some techniques that you never thought of before just by like experimenting with a Pietro like a will be a good guest for this. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's why I actually want to start like these ceramics because and my friends were like, oh my God, so you're going to be like painting these flashes on, on the balls and I'm like, no, <laughs> no tattoo related motives. I'm, yeah. I want to say I'm sick of it. I'm not, but like this is on the skin. Not even on the t-shirts, like on the skin yeah so i would really just like i don't know in my head is just like to play with some patterns or maybe just like mixing colors creating whatever kind of thing i don't know comes to mind yeah i just think i'm just gonna do something completely different than the tattoo just thing. experiment as well yeah because they're doing like i do this thing every day so kind of yeah yeah 
but like you were saying too, like feeling burnout, like I feel like uh, also if you're doing kind of the same thing all the time, like if you're if you're only tattooing for 10 years or whatever, and I'm like painting every single day, kind of doing the same kinds of paintings all the time, sometimes I don't notice how stuck I am. Right. And I like... I'm not being creative anymore. Like I'm kind of just going through the motions of like, oh, I've done this a hundred times before. I know I can do it. What you love to do, and I'm the same. Like you, you know, you probably wake up in the morning like, ah, oh, I'm gonna try this today, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. But then it's just like sometimes, wait, I have to like step out of it. That's so true. Yeah, absolutely. And then also like if you're making a living out of it, like you sometimes you can't experiment. No, like and you, you cannot afford go, to. Oh, you cannot afford to. You yeah. have to get like you have to stay in this comfort zone because other people are asking for it. Yeah, yeah. You depend on them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. tough though. I'm yeah. Exactly. exactly. I'm excited to see your ceramics, your pottery. Oh my god, actually this was this podcast was what I needed as well. Yeah, oh you need a little kick. Yeah. <laughs> like, this said that I will do it like in the you know, like the 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 slow, cold January and February and nothing happened. Yeah. I don't know why. That's the way it goes. Time just passed then. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. Okay. It's super fun. Yeah. Um so when you're doing like your paintings, you said you use watercolor? Yeah, but like uh, I would say like the I don't want to say the typical one that I've been taught by other older tattooers to use to create certain effects I wanted, sure. but yeah, yeah, it's like I'm using watercolor and I really like like the pure cotton papers, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Do you like the rough? Mostly the rough, because yeah. I like how it looks, the texture. Yeah, it's so nice. And yeah. I like how it... Um, like how the paper is like absorbing the ink. Mm. I like it. Some of my colleagues are like preferring like those like a flat. The mats. hot press. Yeah. 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 It's a hot press, right? The, 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 flat, the flat. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, I, like yeah. The, I like the cold press, like the, yeah, I don't know. I just like more how it looks like something similar already. Like the, the canvas, you just, you can see the, you know, like the texture and stuff. So. Yeah. It's like more yeah. challenging sometimes, like, especially yeah. if you're doing like fine line work because oh, it, it like, is bumpy but i also when i was doing watercolor painting like i loved cold press paper it's like so nice. the texture it's oh my god it's I so satisfying it. it's so satisfying oh. like, I'm meditating. yeah <laughs> it's like I yeah it. exactly it's such a good feeling but when i'm doing the lines i'm usually using like some like more of the marker kind of things or yeah. like the mm-hmm. the how is the name like we call it like rapido graphing creation it's like these very thin lines for like graphics and stuff yeah yeah i know what you mean i yeah. spent so much because like after a few lines already like it was done <laughs> yeah yeah the second one and then the third one and then like tenth one i was like wow my gosh i think <laughs> it's I <was> happy <laughs> yeah especially on that paper those pens run out so right? quickly yeah like it's yeah i don't know because i just feel more secure with it and i like the outcome more when i'm using them instead yeah. of the brushes or something or yeah yeah they're usually waterproofed so yeah yeah exactly can be more solid i'm sure i'll do the the right thing yeah yeah are you always starting a tattoo or like some design with a drawing first and like a watercolor sketch or like sometimes do you just like go right onto yeah, skin right. like what i you... go on the skin immediately yeah really <laughs> so you're like just freehand i actually okay uh, i hope people will <laughs> kill me but i'm usually like how to say um I feel it's going to take me too much time to, I don't have time to like paint. <laughs> or maybe I'm, I, maybe I think I just like to go from the, I mean, if it's something that maybe I really feel challenged about, I would definitely like try a bit. It doesn't have to, even have to be like a proper water column, but it's time consuming. Like in that case, I think I would have to do one to two in two days. Because it would be like if I want to paint properly mm. and then tattoo it mm-hmm. and agree on everything, it would just be like it's too much time. Slow mo. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. The work I usually do. I think, yeah, I always go. I mean, sometimes I would just like, like uh, maybe like even just use a regular pencil and just like sketch the cor- like, like I don't know, like color the corners to see how I want to do it. Most of the time is like, yeah. Sometimes I'm like. Oh should have planned it better <laughs> sometimes it's just like uh yeah or it's like something you're just like already used to doing so you know you just go your way you mm-hmm. experiment i like to experiment yeah i like to just like i want to try this today because i never did yeah i mean what's the worst that can happen it's not like i'm going to try something like something completely extreme that would totally mess up mm-hmm. but like just I think that's the fun of it. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know. I yeah. think there's so many tattoos these days that if already a client picks you, mm-hmm. it's usually like they just like, okay, you know how to do it. You do it your way. I'm, I want 
the way you do things and then yeah they trust you they they also probably I, know what your style is i think the twing in general is already like so well spread that it's not like such a i mean if someone comes to me and where are you gonna put pull this shade from i would be like I don't know. <laughs> Go back there. I don't know. <laughs> no, I was joking, but like it would be maybe even too much. And then I would yeah. personally feel super stressed. Like, yeah. like, oh my God, now they're going to watch how I do the shade. Like, well, that's too much, you know? I don't yeah. think I would do a good job in that case. It's a lot of pressure. It's like being on an exam, which it's not a point of a yeah. appointment or whatever kind of a thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I get it. It's forever and you but like sometimes it's like too much of... But so much of it for me is about trust too. Like even before I started painting, yeah. like when I was getting tattoos and like I wasn't like mm. a visual artist yet, but like it was for me always about, it was less like, oh, I want it to be perfect. I'm going to watch everything. I'm going to give them all of this advice. It was more like I find someone, I like their art. I yeah. know what they do and I go in there and I trust them. And, and I think it. I always had a better experience right? because like then like the artist is enjoying it and they're like, oh, this is fun. I don't have to feel like I'm being watched. Watched, or stressed or anything. Yeah. And then it's a better product. And like I've had some friends go and get tattoos and they were like, oh no, this isn't right. Can you redraw? And they do like 50 times. And by the end, it's like the artist is like, I don't want to do this anymore. Anymore because like, yeah. you're tired. And it's okay to change a design or details. Like, of course, yeah. Always upgrade. It's not about like, because sometimes you just maybe like, or maybe sometimes people like your other way of doing a flower. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, and yeah. It's completely <laughs> fine. But exactly how you said, if it's like this, like just to try to change it more and more for the sake of, I don't know, it's like this, and then you're, you'll lose it a bit. It's exhausting. Yeah. yeah. At times I would mm. really, really like, I don't know, like a person would contact me and by the time of like maybe two hours, I just realized I'm not there to tour. Like, I'm it's not, not the right fit. And I would just be like, I think I'm not the run one for you. And not because I don't wow. want to do it. I, I do a lot of other things. Like I enjoy doing like styles such as like even some like adult work a bit or these mandalas. Mm -hmm. It's not about this technical. It's just like, I realize I don't know how to do what they want. And I, I would suck at it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, why are you pushing me to do it? I'll give you the best contact in the city. Go to them. And then it was just like, you know, but I think there was always a fair deal and they were happy that yeah but you're like that i'm honest that you're honest like to not to yeah. yeah i would appreciate that so much like if i went into a tattoo artist and they were like we started working on it and they were like i'm sorry but like i don't think this is right exactly. that for me that's actually amazing like that's exactly. a very nice thing to do for somebody yeah because then you don't want to end up with you know like a really shitty tattoo that yeah, you don't like that's fine. says like hey sorry you're not my guy fine like it's, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it just don't don't push it if you're just at the spot now yeah. it's better like and it's it's not personal right it's like with no, art no, too like it personal no, like no like some don't, people don't like my paintings that's fine it's not for you right what? it's like who cares yeah. exactly yeah, yeah, i also yeah. don't expect like like why would everybody like the things i do and mm -hmm. i don't know it's just like normal to to just say hey i have a guy for you a girl for you like just go there there they'll do the job perfect like yeah some things i just don't know how to do and mm -hmm. don't want to even yeah <laughs> gamble with yeah it's yeah bad. It's but and that gamble is like a lot there's like more stakes for you because you're putting it on someone's body right there's a thing and it's forever and then i have to do this even though they don't want to yeah it's it's a bit it can be a bit stressful yeah i can Sorry. imagine yeah yeah like even for me when i get commissioned sometimes and like people are like how is it for you like it's like i'm used to it now and i think also like most of the time when people ask me for a commission it's because they know my style and they like what i do so like i i don't feel as much pressure anymore okay. but like sometimes someone will request something and it's like really not what i do but like i i'm and is it a motive they request or like the the style or the it's, colors or i don't know like usually it's someone who's like very specific and they want like exactly this and like these colors in this style or whatever and so then it's like i'm doing something that's so far from what i usually do that i just don't okay. feel comfortable I right know. and like in i should say no in that situation but sometimes like i need the money and i'm like i, I need to say at least you yeah but it's normal yeah so like especially when i was starting out i used to say yes to more of those things and then like it's such a kind of like it gives me anxiety in that situation right. to be like i hope they like it like if they don't it's it's really really stressful so i can't even imagine like maybe when you were starting it was worse but like yeah you know, the permanence of a tattoo is it's a lot of pressure it's like the true like my my colleague who was um my teacher in a way he was like putting me in a situation he was putting me in a fire like yeah 
You have to do this now. <gasps> I don't know what it is on the line. Oh my God. But I'm so happy because I do enjoy like just like a um, day with like a bunch of small things because it also keeps my brain like easy, you know? So it's yeah. not about like, I have to do cool things every day. That would be a burnout. Absolutely. It's yeah. like, it's, it's great, but there should be a little bit of balance because I mean, if they're custom as well every day, this is what happened to me. Mm hmm. I would be like working until, I don't know, seven, eight, and then draw again the next day again. And it's great living the life. But inside I was like, I have no time for me. I'm just thinking about what to draw for other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great, but maybe if it's not every day, like just yeah. a little bit of a break, then you kind of, uh, again, get the energy back. But like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, having the balance, that's so important. And, and the nice thing... I don't like it or I don't want to like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that's like a more stressful than like just They're doing just... like a piece of exactly. flash or walk-in or something like exactly. that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I wanted to ask you like how you came up with your style because like one of the reasons I came to you like when I moved to Prague was like you, like, you, you. do traditional tattoos, but uh -huh. like every time I see your tattoo, I know it's you. Like Thank you so have much. such a unique style, don't right? To see my tattoos, is that weird to say? No, not at all. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. how they look to people. Yeah. I have no Same idea what you see when you yeah. follow my Instagram. I'm like, I would never get that number. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you're never 100% maybe happy, like you're happy. I'm like, wow, this is something best I did. Like, sure, of course, I'm extremely happy, but like sometimes it's like just you know, like I don't know how other people, how your, how other people's eyes or your eyes see this. Yeah, I really don't know. It, it's, I think it's impossible to see it the way other people see it. Like, you never so will be able to. About it, like, yeah, oh, yeah, so thank you. That's so nice to hear. I, I actually didn't think about too much to come up with. Mm -hmm. I guess like, I don't know, of course there was like in the beginning, there was like few tutors that really inspired me in a way. I was like, I want to be like them one day. I love what they do with the colors. Mm. Then sometimes just some things would change. I used to use a bunch of dark colors in the beginning, mm -hmm. which I noticed that it looks good on a painting, not on the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was also like what kind of like switch some things. And at some point I was like much more into details. And again, no, but I don't like, and then I tried to just like not to go something crazy far away from what I do. I, I, I also f feel like I should keep the, 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 not the comfort zone of my own style, but it's the only way to like, you know, there is changes. Like I'm sure like if you scroll down to my work from like, I don't know, 80 years ago it would be like oh my god like you know but maybe not to go too far from yeah i actually didn't think about it too much to be honest how i created it i guess there were just always some motives that i always like to see as tattoos mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so maybe i would develop them a bit like into something yeah like add my things or to create a flower this way to make this this way or i don't know yeah but in a way, it makes sense to me that you haven't yeah. thought about it. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> because I, I think know. it's it's almost like when you're okay. kind of just listening to your gut or your intuition, and like you know, you're it's a natural and, flow. Exactly. Because imagine if you like write yourself, I have to by next year make my style look this way. I was like, oh, but who knows what happens tomorrow? Maybe I will just. <laughs> you know exactly it's or like, what experiment you try that like teaches you so oh now i'm gonna use this in my tattoos because i like these colors or this exactly. kind of shape or whatever oh, like, like if we were talking earlier about like getting inspired by my colleagues and friends it's yeah. just like wow, i really like his red i should get a red like this yeah and then let's say you put it on your own drawing which is completely different than theirs but then this color that is different on your drawing gives the whole concept like something like, oh, wow. It's like, you know, it's just like how you use it, where you put it, but like a little inspirations. And then suddenly you have a your style that yeah. like, should be changing a bit. Not changing, but like maybe I would say developing or... Definitely. You know, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Well, something. you want to be growing, right? Like you want to, I don't know, to keep it exciting as well. Yeah, I think, exactly. Like, to yeah. keep it exciting. Or yeah. just like, yeah. Otherwise, it's like if it's constantly like the same thing, I don't know. I would get bored, definitely. Yeah, I would get bored. Like, just like, I want to experiment in this or like, let's do something crazy. Like, until recently, I was like, I really hate using blue. And like, lately, I'm like, I like this blue turquoise. Like, I don't know. I'm like opening the doors because yeah. I tried some other motives or mm -hmm. I'm still not like the best friends with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's just those, those kind of things, I think. Yeah. It's important. Like, I don't know. 
I wonder if that blue is from Michelle because I feel like he uses a lot of blue in his tattoos. Uh, he's, he's more or like into turqu- green turquoise. turquoise. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah, the colors he does are so crazy. Yeah, and so simple. Awesome. Just like this red, green, yellow, and that's it. And yeah. Yeah. We call him an architect because he's just like <laughs> perfect. Yeah, his yeah. tattoos are beautiful. Yeah. I have one on my leg that I. Right? You did the. the, the, the roof I remember when you were. Uh, amazing yeah amazing. it's so cool yeah thanks but, for supporting us also oh my gosh of course so no glad. you guys are like the uh, for me the best shop in town just because i love traditional tattoos and i feel like everyone who works there is great oh, amazing. and you also have like great like guest people who come as well we like to. dario like, that, i haven't exactly. gotten tattooed by him but he's so cool like he's he amazing. makes amazing should, stuff like, he used to be our resident okay and yeah and with the covid times he moved back to copenhagen okay and now he's like traveling between prague and copenhagen so he's like here all the time yeah like, he's doing yeah also, also like he's a painter. Like he used to do like graffiti's and nice. stuff. So he's like cool for the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no. I next time he's here. Uh, he's doing um, other things. I would say like he's, yeah. He was yeah. doing a lot of like the graffiti paintings on the street as well. So okay. Yeah. I know. I'm definitely gonna come in and maybe get a tattoo from him and yeah. see if he wants to come and chat oh, with me. Yeah. <laughs> that would amazing. be awesome. Yeah. Amazing. But this is also what's so cool about I think like especially in the tattoo community like there's so yeah. much. Uh, like sharing of like you know like uh you'll go and visit a shop in this other city and you get to meet it's other really artists and there's like such a kind of circle that builds around like one style of tattooing or like a group of exactly. people exactly and that's i love that concept and i feel like in art it's kind of missing a little bit like artists are I a little to more... ask, how was it like uh how was it like uh with the art that's what i was thinking like can you travel and meet other galleries at yeah, so like, you can a little bit like with right? the galleries you could definitely like have shows in different cities and probably meet artists that way but like for me personally like i really don't like galleries and like i don't really want to have my art in but them. like some doi ones more you know like, yeah fancy yeah yeah i know what you mean yeah but i think even those they're looking more for like local stuff right like so if you're a smaller like more diy space then you probably want to promote like within your community or have like local artists coming so i don't know i'm not saying it doesn't exist i'm just not aware of it um but like something i'm talking about with some of my friends now like one of my very good friends he lives in lisbon and Uh like i would love to be able to just go there and like spend two weeks painting with him and then just have like a little pop-up show and guess what yeah as a painter yeah that's but cool. that concept i've never thought of it like that you would should. be so cool actually what we do even when we do guys but like sometimes we yeah. just stay painting in a shop yeah and just hanging out basically and then that's what i'm saying like if you create a little community Man. meet people and then you just visit each other mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i love that idea that would be that's so amazing. cool I'm gonna push you in the- yeah yeah no thank <laughs> you for giving me the idea no, of course, like, yeah you know, there's a bunch of painters and yeah you know like, and like even i don't know like reaching out to people like hey like i love your right? art like uh can i come and hang out in your studio or like do you have a space we can go and share and like hang out for a week together and like make some art talk about whatever and then like we get to Just help like each other out too your own thing and like yeah. you paint and like yeah 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 and- wow this could be because so much fun. What we do it's just like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think like in the tattoo world, it's like built into the culture. Already, I learned a lot right? this way. Even when I was younger, when I started, it was just like I learned so much more about, like I was watching so many different tutorials preparing their stations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, he does it this way. He does. Yeah. I collected it all and then you bring it home, you know. Yeah, yeah. The little things, you would love it. Like I'm sure you would get like a lot of little extras that maybe just would inspire you or... Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And even like stuff about the process, right? Because like even I like know. in the podcast, I get to talk to people about you yeah. know, creativity and stuff, which is amazing. You're amazing you're doing this. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm having so much fun doing it. Um, but it's like sometimes like when I'm sitting painting, like I'm using a technique that like maybe somebody else doesn't use or they're right? doing something with their brushes or For the way sure. they mix colors that I've never thought about. And like that's harder to talk about. It's more you have to be in the you space. You have to be in seat. Yeah, and watch it happening. Exactly. So, yeah. Wow, you just gave me because it such is. a It was like this when I wouldn't cool get tattooed, but then yeah. it was like, I don't know, one tutor that was doing like my uh, upper arm and yeah. he was making the, the, the skin tone. He had like dark red, brown and white and he was doing it as a painting so he did like with the machine like touch of this touch of this touch of this on my skin and i was like really wow. like each color separately and but mixing like, it on but like basically he just like dipped it in all with the in the like uh the the tip of the 
the machine, like yeah. the tube, and like, in, where is the needle? And he was just like, but in the end, they all mixed together there, and he just put it on my skin because he just, it's his way to do it. I don't know. Wow, that's so cool. So, you know, like those yeah. things that you would probably notice with some yeah. painters, like, this helped me a lot as well. Yeah, yeah, I Picking can imagine. Picking up from everybody, but then bringing it on your own station, how to say so. Yeah. Did you, when you started tattooing, did you do like an apprenticeship? Did you Never like officially? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's the, like, what's like the attitude in the tattoo world? Because I've talked to like a bunch of artists and like they have different opinions, it seems like. But like, especially in the States, actually, like I yeah. talked to some people who are like shop owners who like have been tattooing for 30 plus years. And they have this attitude of like, you have to do it the right way. You have to go get an apprenticeship and like go through the I right channels. The same though. I mean, I had like a kind of a bit of a story like this that I, I got to start. I, I mean, I did some friends at home a bit before, yeah. like kind of thing, but then I got to start in the in the shop really like in the beginning, which helped me for, for the uh, like sanitizing things or like, you know, to like learn those basics and to push me to try some other techniques that is not just my style or, you know. In the end, it's like just... <sighs> If you do it right in the end, I don't know, like, I mean, I say like do it the right way because it at least try to draw a lot, you know, yeah. it's really important. Just like, yeah. just don't try to copy. And to me, it's like the drawing and painting, like, because yeah. in the end is the way you put it on the skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I guess like if you're not, like, if you just like stay humble, not like, I just bought this all and I'm just gonna, you know, it's like, takes time. So, yeah. But I don't know, it's just like, it's like 2023, it's like, who am I to say? And I'm also, I'm not the, 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 the OG, <laughs> how they call it, you know, like, so I don't know. I just think like that you definitely, it's better to go and have an apprenticeship because you're just going to open you the door and don't be afraid of it. Like yeah. if you get a job, you'll have a boss. So why not to have a mentor who will teach you amazing things? Like, oh my God, I wish... Like I had, I had it like halfway because my colleague, like back then he's still saying like, I wasn't your mentor. Don't say it this way. But mm -hmm. he kind of, he taught me amazing things. So I'm super grateful. Yeah. So he, he was kind of a mentor, but it's more that I maybe didn't have it like two years. You shouldn't move your ass from here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he let me do whatever in a way that he was really like pushing me, like giving me wings to even travel when I want. But like, he didn't let me to tattoo certain body parts. At the beginning, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that was cool, you know, and yeah. like he was really teaching me about cleaning after myself and a few mm. times screamed at me like, <laughs> but it, this told me I never, I never repeated it again, you know, so yeah. it's, it's great. But then I know so many tattooers that never had it like this properly and they're freaking amazing. Like, yeah, it, so. yeah. And it, they, they have the good mindset. That's important. It's more about the mindset, the perspective, yeah, exactly. than like how you get to Maybe where you are. Maybe they didn't have a chance to get an apprenticeship, but then they do everything else right, so... Well, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know. I think you're right. Like just drawing and like really putting yeah. work into it, yeah, and like just developing your style and, and like getting what a you lot, do. getting tattooed a lot by other tattooers. So you're picking up from mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Feel free to ask them for advice already. Mm -hmm. Like, how you prepare this? Can you help me with this? Can you? It's okay to ask. Like, I think it's better just at least try to like you know get yeah. some tips to do it right than to play smart and. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, if you're getting tattooed by an amazing tattooer, why not to already ask for an advice if you're already sitting there, you know, it's like the best. Yeah, it seems like a shame try. not to use that resource, right? Exactly. Like if you're if you're getting tattooed already. Yeah. Exactly. This was this was great. Like to me it helped a lot as well already. Yeah. yeah. Just for something. So mm, yeah. And were you like drawing before you started tattooing as I well? I was like, really all my life. Like I was always like painting, drawing, like I don't know, I was more into like some uh character cartoonish drawings mm -hmm. i don't know i watched some like whatever cartoons or a bit of anime that i watched as a kid mm -hmm. nothing crazy <laughs> anime like <laughs> but like i don't know then i was always like trying to copy some um like um i don't know like characters from the cartoons or so then i studied fashion design okay i was thinking i want to maybe like uh, work in a theater as a costume designer because I was never into like a fashion world. I just wanted to like learn to sew mm -hmm. over the machine properly and stuff like this or learn the concept of like creating certain models for the clothing. But then I got bored there mm -hmm. and I was more and more into getting tattooed and uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I just like I want to draw this. I want to draw this. Like so, I don't know. Yeah. Just, was it like were you getting tattoos and that was why you got yes, to it? Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's how it's. That was like the <laughs> thing, and I was like, I'm already drawing, and then I was just like, I wasn't bringing an actual design that I wanted to be this way to my tattoos, but I was bringing it like, I want something like this. Sure. So it slowly started like mm-hmm. as like. One of them, he was like, maybe you should give it a try. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then you... So in the end, and I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. That was it. That's so cool. Is there like any crossover between fashion and like tattooing what you're doing? Like, do you feel like you're taking anything that you learned when you were in fashion school and using it? In... Not the one I've been. No. <laughs> I mean, no. It was just like maybe it wasn't so pushy that I wanted it to be like. I see. Yeah. You know, maybe I wanted more of something like how to say inspirational like something that will like really but i do like i don't know definitely what i picked up like good was like um drawing like the the human body Mm -hmm. stuff like this it really helps me because i love to do the 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 faces i know your faces are awesome thank you like i really and i definitely this helped me because like the way i start drawing it now i'm picking up the things i learned there yeah so definitely yeah. or like some even like patterns or or so so yeah it helped me a lot i don't want to be negative no. yeah yeah <laughs> i'm also thinking now like because the acrobat tattoos mm-hmm. that you do i feel like they're yeah. often wearing like really cool clothes as well oh this is definitely true this is right? definitely picked up from there but i was even doing it before the the college because i wanted okay. to get into this college okay yeah So yeah, it's yeah. definitely a lot of mixture in my head of all this yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i i like it i think i would still maybe do something about maybe one day I do some clothes. Like, I don't know. It's just Why like not? you know. Yeah. yeah. No, I want to be a full time tattooer, but as a as a side project, you never know. Mm-hmm. Like, but like we were saying before, exactly. like even doing you know pottery or like making some clothes, yeah. it's yeah. another way to like be creative and exactly. try some ideas and yeah, just do something so different. Well. To have all those things, like you keep it in the head, you know. Like so, I definitely don't want to. Yeah, just do one. It's just to keep a bit on the side. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's so, like, interesting to me sometimes to find, like, where the sources of, like, how people started to be creative or, like, yeah, right? what got them into it. And, like, you know, they went to school for this and then ended up doing this. But a lot of the times there's some kind of thread. Like, it's still connected, Connected right? it's, to something. Yeah. And the source is always, like... At least for me, like when I was a kid, like I spent a lot of time alone and like creativity was where I got to escape and like, I don't know, imagine like that was a safe place for me. I was the same. I wanted to say the same that to me, like being a bit of an introvert as a kid Mm -hmm. helped me. I was either building some jewelry with those pearls you can buy or making those thread bracelets or something or painting. And it was like, no, leave me alone. I want to stay home. (laughs) And really, this is what got me there yeah. as a kid. Like, I kind of, I was hanging out when I had to, mm-hmm. but then there was always this time that I would just like, close myself in the room and yeah. Like, draw. Yeah, yeah. And I'm grateful for that. So, yeah. Me too. Yeah. I like, feel social, like. Social, but close. Not not like. Yeah. 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 I'm the same way. All the time yeah. being out. Like, yeah. I hate sports. I hate, mm. I hate, I hated like that much group activities. And then, I don't know. It was just like. Yeah prefer to 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 stay home but how did you like um so yeah how did you actually start as well like Painting. with the yeah i mean it was paint, like but when i was a kid like i loved to draw okay. like always but like it wasn't something that i ever took very seriously and then like when i was like a teenager and into college like i was mostly writing and uh-huh, making okay, movies cool. like film so i studied film in college and so like that's what i kind of thought i wanted to do i wanted to be a writer um and then i wanted to be a filmmaker and like painting and drawing kind of left my life for like mm. probably 10 15 years okay. and then after i graduated from film school i was like so sick of kind of like with you maybe with fashion school it was like it got so technical and like i technical lost a lot of like the passion i had for it and I realized, like, maybe this isn't right for me. But, like, still, that impulse to be creative was exactly. such a part of me. So I was like, okay, what else can I do that's creative? Awesome. And so I just, like, started using watercolors and, like, drawing a little bit more. Um, I started making, like, handmade books as well. And, nice. like, 
That's yeah, I, I'm going to give you one. Actually, I have an extra one. Yeah, yeah, a little mm-hmm. journal. Um, And yeah, then it like was just I fell in love immediately. Like the moment I started painting, I was like, this is the best thing. You ever. just found like, yourself. You dived into yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. But it was a long process, like four or five years of me doing it, like, you know, working. I was a bartender. I was working in an art shop, like doing all kinds of stuff and just doing it on the side. And it was more of a hobby. Right. But like I always wanted to be able to do it, to do it. as much as possible. Um. And I'm glad that I spent that time kind of practicing and learning and almost like not even sharing it with people. Like it was still... It was it, your own safe place, like, right? Exactly. exactly. And it let me like fall in love with the process instead of like wanting to do it because I wanted like attention. attention it wasn't... To see yeah, it, right? it wasn't like, yeah, oh, exactly. look at me. I'm so great. It was more like I, I'm doing it for me for and I love it. And now I still have that same attitude. Like, but it's, it's the way. Yeah, you know? I think so. Yeah. He's the best. Like to me, it's like the same, even though you post and like I post an Instagram but like it's more like hey this is like available for you to to maybe not attention like when i say like like it but like get it buy it or like but it's just like i'm proud of it so maybe i want to show it a bit but not like in a way yeah i don't know that's why i was talking about is reels is like oh such a stress because it's like such my own comfort of like when you're painting and stuff yeah yeah, it's tough to share that part of the process. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I, yeah. I love to, but like, yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah, I think it's important to share stuff though. And more and more with the reels, like what I like is that, like with Instagram right now, I'm sharing like final products, right? Mm-hmm. So like I post a photo of a finished painting, which That's is great, so but there's so many people out there who are like, want to learn how to draw or paint or do tattoos. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and they like, they don't get to see all the other parts of what I'm doing. So the reels let me do it a little bit where I can like show you the drawing and then the first layer and like how I'm creating something. And I don't like the idea of keeping that secret. Like I don't think um, like as a painter, I don't want it to be like, oh, you can't see how I do this. (laughs) Exactly. I'm not doing anything you haven't seen before anyway, right? It's exactly like everybody. Or it's nice to see that people know how you came up with this, you know, it's like, or exactly. how you started with like I know it's completely different I was talking with Pietro about it like the layers you put yeah, yeah, than yeah. the regular painting let's say what I do with yeah. the watercolors yeah it's very it's different yeah 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 absolutely but that's the thing is like someone might <laughs> look at it thank you yeah, thank you yeah, someone different. might look at it and like they've never thought to do it that way and it might work for them right as a technique mm-hmm. or something yeah super so, interesting I like being able to share it yeah. exactly it's exactly nice. yeah amazing mm. wow so what, when is your next exhibitions? You we guys have, are going to do it together again, right? Yeah, we're That's only amazing. doing them together now, which for me Super. is way better. It's yeah, and we're having so much fun with it. It's like yeah, like one of my favorite things in my life right now is just like doing stuff with those guys. And uh, yeah, now it's nice because I feel like we're building a community around it as well, and people know about the shows and what we were talking earlier. Exactly. Can yeah. You invite like friends, friends, mutual friends. Yeah. And it's like more, yeah. It's more like, uh, you know, how to say, yeah. yeah, yeah, or like, you know, you've been to a few of them. And so now it's like, if you, there's another one, like, oh, it's a fun event. Like I have exactly. a friend visiting or something. Exactly. You should come. It's, it's always fun. So yeah, that's a really nice part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have one coming up in May. I think it's the first weekend in May. Super. Actually, it might be the weekend of Prague traditional. <laughs> I need to check. I need to check the dates, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'll look it up and yeah, definitely send you an invite. Um, Super. this one is gonna be crazy. It's called "What the fuck is going on?" Okay. And we're just doing like. Are you theme. allowed to like uh, reveal the theme or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think we've said it. We had a radio interview last or two weeks ago, oh, okay. and we said it on the radio. So I think I'm okay. <laughs> super. <laughs> it's public like information. Yeah. Super, super. So what is it gonna be? The. We're. It's very open. Like, okay. but I think I think Vinny will probably do some like super crazy paintings of like he usually does like some weird concept um which will be oh. awesome and then what i think i'm gonna do is like take interior spaces oh and nice I, actually this will probably come out after the show so it's okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was like not I exactly it. Being, so you can um play. but i really want to do like more interior spaces but then like really mess them up so like staircases upside oh. down or like you know like chairs in the wrong like really make it weird and twisted it's amazing I have an idea in my head. It's hard I to describe, know. but like... Do you write yeah. yourself notes? Because I always write notes like... Oh, Constantly, to, yeah. There's my, too many notes in my phone, yeah. Right? Um, I <laughs> can't even find way. them anymore sometimes. Yeah, right? no, yeah, so many notes, yeah. But it's a way, 
way. I yeah, think is yeah, yeah. And sometimes like if I don't write an idea down, I'll forget about it. And like I have to kind of like have it someplace, like get it okay. out into the world. Otherwise it just disappears. So, yeah. And it's okay if I ask you questions, right? Because like uh, I always wanted to ask how much it takes you for. A painting. Oh, the pen. This, so it's a stupid question. That's not stupid at all. No, no, no. No, it re <laughs> it does depend for sure. But I would say like these ones, like yeah. the size that I like to work with, which is like 100 by 120. One of those paintings is probably four or five days. Yeah, because like do you dive into it and do as much or do you like come back to it bit by bit? Depends on the mood, I guess. Or? I have a really hard time like working on more than one thing at once. So like when I start yeah. a painting, I'm like, okay, this okay. is the only thing I'm going to do for four or five days. Okay. And I paint probably like eight to 10 hours a day. And I like, I don't care what my mood yeah, is. I just, I just paint. Right. Yeah. It's your full time. Yes. Life is everything. Yeah. Exactly. So like, I kind of can't wait for the mood to be right or like be inspired. I'm just like, I just have to do the work. And like, sometimes it feels really great and sometimes it doesn't, but either way, I'm still going to paint it. Yeah. But yeah, like a painting like that probably... How many hours? Does 40 that, hours? 50 do you hours? Feel like you need to finish this part to get to this other more interesting part, right? Absolutely. Like, it's yeah. like, yeah. I have to shade this and I'm like, I don't want to shade this. But then if I don't shade this, I cannot do this all. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. There's it's parts like of it that to... are kind of tedious sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But it's also, I don't know, There's I'm trying to appreciate those moments more as well. Like, yeah, because it's it is part of the process and like it, it also it gives me a break sometimes like if it's like if i'm doing a pattern for example that's very repetitive and it's oh going to take God. me like 2 hours like i could be whining about it or i could be like okay this is right. time for me to think about other things or like this is really like kind of an not autopilot but it's like okay you do the pattern blah 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 and then yeah. It will grow eventually in the painting and suddenly you're like, this? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like trying to appreciate those moments a little bit as well. Like right. it doesn't always happen, of course, but like I do try uh, like more and more. Yeah. I'm the same sometimes. I'm like exactly patterns. Like, oh, I want to do this in dots and then like, oh my God. Yeah, it's so much work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, it's, um, how you said, like those are those more like meditative, like you just do them one by one. Nothing mm -hmm. much to think about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's true. Because yeah. you did it. Yeah. What's yeah. your what's your like favorite part of the process? Like when you're working on a new design or like kind of talking now about you know, mm -hmm. boring parts, exciting parts, like what's the best you part? You mean like on a painting or drawing up a design for I the guess two? Either way, or, either way. Either way. Yeah. Hmm. I guess like this final outlining or I love outlining. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I actually I think I like it actually yeah. That's now best. I'm thinking about it. I love outlining on a skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes I don't if I'm tattooing ribs or something. Yeah. Ugh, but I'm getting I better, I hope. So, you know, so, okay. <laughs> I think I love outlining. Um, even when I'm like, uh, let's say, preparing a flash sheet on paper to mm -hmm. paint it. Mm -hmm. I love to just like outlining. But this is something what I like to do as a kid. I mm -hmm. like these kind of drawings that I would just like do a bunch of things with markers. So definitely my favorite thing with tattooing and the final uh, like um, outlining to represent to a client, like, okay, this is it. Mm -hmm. But then I must say that I love filling in the solid color, which a lot of people say it's boring. Really? I'm like, I want to black out your arm, no yeah. problem. <laughs> it's meditating. Of course, at some point it's already like, wow, I have to like step out of this. Mm -hmm. But it's like really relaxing and I don't know. So I like like coloring a lot. Yeah. Solid okay. one. Yeah. Shading I love, but it's sometimes I'm really like mentally lazy. Mm. And it's like, oh, how it, both tattoo, painting, and it's just like I love it. It's the most is the outcome that I'm usually most like proud of usually because it's like can be so hard. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 But sometimes it's the same. It's like mentally I'm like, oh my God, I wanna shade this like so tidy and like this, but I'm <laughs> not today. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You yeah. Know? Like those challenging parts, it's like your brain is really working. Exactly. Sometimes it's but tough. outline, yeah. I love outlining. It's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's such a favorite. satisfying feeling. It's such a satisfying oh my gosh. feeling. And when it works the best, like even on the skin, like a good body part, good needle. Yeah. Good machine day i don't know everything is just like perfect it's like oh my god <laughs> yeah I love it. oh, it's amazing i know like when i first started painting i was doing like a lot of paintings where at the end i would outline it with like a black marker mm -hmm. um and oh, nice yeah and like it was that was my favorite part too just like because you're at the end and you know it's almost and finished and it's end. oh my god yeah. and it just feels so good yeah. i guess with tattooing it's not the end 
and then darker that right yeah okay, exactly yeah. yeah 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 but so. still it's just like i love it and then you know you finish this sound line okay amazing yeah the rest is like i love it yeah yeah absolutely yeah oh that's amazing um do you want to plug anything before we end like your instagram any other things that are wanna... coming up yes a prag traditional <laughs> yeah so i mean i i want to do it sorry uh if you wanted to say something no, no, go no. ahead go ahead yeah. i wanted to just say like uh because it's like such a amazing diy event you already know of. we spoke about it the first thing out there. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. so yeah i want it because like it's more of a um, um just like a gathering and celebrating tattooing and mm-hmm. exhibition it's nothing like it's free of entry it's happening um 13th and 14th of May mm-hmm. uh, in amazing place of Nitro Block. So it's super spacious, walkable. Mm-hmm. There is like a beautiful garden outside and it's just like to come and hang out, but as well to meet amazing tattooers from all around the world. Mm-hmm. Like really our... Um, some of them are like already like our good friends and colleagues and you don't get the chance to get tattooed by them so often so it's a good chance to to check it by the art by the whatever and just to hang out and Amazing. get to know it tattooing a bit better if you yeah. haven't or if you have but just because you love it and you want to be there we're so looking forward yeah i'm so, so excited i'm yeah. really being busy working on it yeah 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 i'm happy forward. it's back i was telling you like I, exactly. I know you guys or pietro did it what yeah. like three years ago or something but it's it yeah. was amazing and then yeah. there was a the second try unfortunately the 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 things got closed again and it was just mm. like too much of like awaiting like should it be better or not then he moved away a bit yeah. again yeah yeah that's right but no, i think it was a perfect timing now and um we're really looking forward amazing to it. Yeah. i'm super excited <laughs> and anything else like your instagram or something i'll leave a link in the description too but i don't know if you want to no i'm okay, no. okay. You will find me. <laughs> people will find you and you should go and check her out her work is amazing so, thank yeah. you thank you you're still it and looking forward to the exhibitions thanks for having me like i'm so grateful thank you for coming this was super fun yeah to do i'm looking yeah. forward to see the the other yeah other ones absolutely coming. we'll do it again if you want as well and of course what might be fun happy. is like doing a group one with like a bunch of people from your shop yeah okay, <laughs> be, like yeah it would be that super would be cool fun because you can maybe like uh, hear some stories that you that. know like we will probably think of and say yeah. you know, when you did this and you usually do this that would, be, would be awesome fun. yeah absolutely maybe we even like if you guys are okay with it like come down to the shop and record I there think, and yeah. like yeah get the Everybody whole crew will be super happy yeah. to put in the shop so okay. you're more than welcome you amazing know, you thank you be like home there yeah thank you, thank you so much thank cool you. thanks Petra. thank you